I can't tell you how to do this because I don't know how, okay? I'm just kind of going with the flow here, all right? So if you watch this and you learn and you get some pointers on how to do it, fantastic, but don't get it mistaken. This is not a tutorial. This is just simply me putting it together and showing you how I'm doing it. But in the future, I may have some tutorials and um, I'll be doing more things to this car. So subscribe and keep up to date on my new videos coming out in the future because I will be putting um, more stuff on the car, doing more things and maybe some more technical how-tos. Um, I've got kind of a list of things uh, that I plan to do this car. So definitely subscribe and continue to watch and see what else happens to this beautiful girl. What's up guys? I'm back at it with another one. Today, finally, I have the Q50 wrapped. So that means we're installing a piece. I know I needed to wrap it first. I couldn't install this before I wrapped it. I had it since Christmas. And uh, now that the car's wrapped, we're going to get See if we can install this thing. As you can see, that is my new front lip spoiler, uh, whatever you want to call it. I've got monster cans holding it up in place. They seem to be the perfect height. I'm trying to get it lined out even and then basically that's it. You just start drilling your holes. So it seems to be, I don't know. it seems to fit okay in areas but it's like it's fitting a little weird so let's just go ahead and take a look and see what we can do here so it seems this seems to line out pretty good which you know i want that to be pretty even um but this over here is not flush to the back where this one kind of is so it looks like it'll need to go this way and the other side is gonna need a little more, kind of like that. I may need another hand to help me here. I don't know. That looks pretty. That looks pretty even right there on both sides. This line, the gap between the bumper and that. I don't like that's touching right there. I like it to sit kind of off like this. A little bit of a, a little bit of a gap there, but maybe when we. Maybe when we go to screw it in, yeah, I think right there is going to be the the spot. And once that's screwed in, it'll stay. It might just kind of be a tight fit. Let's see if we can go do that to the other side. I'd really like both to be more flush on the back like that. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be even on both sides, darn it. I bet I got to remove that factory screw and put it in there. Yeah, we're going to see if that'll work. Remove the factory bolt, but maybe widen the hole, put the factory bolt back. Nice. going to try to fit that. Almost. Yeah, I think that'll work. Alright, so that's what we're going to go with. Um, these have little holes um, that are just meant for the screws that it comes with. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to widen this one out just a bit. And this is the, this is the OEM bolt that comes with it so I'm gonna widen that out just a hair because then it would still be wide enough for the screw but I believe it'll fit that so I'm gonna drill that out just a little bit and see if I can't just put the factory bolt through there it seems to want to fit in the same place and everything so yeah we're gonna see if that'll work and I don't think I don't know I don't think I'll be using 3M um, doing anything 3M on this like because it has several bolt holes. One, two, three. Well, 
four, five, six. Okay. It has six, but it comes with freaking bajillion screws. That don't make sense. So maybe I'll use some 3M. Still doesn't fit, but I'm gonna leave it. I mean, it fits, but you have to screw it in. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Call that good. There we go. Screwdriver might have been better, actually. Go ahead and grab one right quick. Of course. Not freaking fit. I mean, of course, they don't fit. Gosh dang. About to tick me off. Now be in there, baby. God bless. That was more difficult than one should imagine it be. All right. Now, um, that's basically the size or the position needs to be. I should probably go ahead and unbolt the other side and screw that in. Make sure it's going to meet up pretty close. I think it will. Alright, let's see if we can get these screws to go through. I need a lift is what I need. So the thing about this is it has to screw into the bottom of your bumper, which Motion detected in the front yard. I don't love, but at the same time, it's at, at the same time, it's not that big a deal because I mean, it's at the bottom, no one's going to see it, no one's going to know. Huh. It's gonna be pretty dope, actually. Oh my gosh, that's freaking tough. I did end up having to put screws in right here. And I guess I probably could back here. But I'm not going to. Um, I had to use hand tools, obviously, like I was saying before. And uh, no power tool. And that was a freaking hassle. But it looks pretty dope. We'll take it outside and get some pictures. Alright, guys, there you have it. That's the installation of the. Uh, front lip spoiler on the 14, 2014 Q50. Um, turned out really great, I think. Um, there was a little problem. Let me show you this real quick. There was this little thing, and I was kind of mentioning it, how there's like no gap. I kind of want it to be more like that. So I might figure out a way to get some kind of spacer in there, and something that maybe not so obvious. This opens it up a little bit. Very minimal, uh, very minute problem, but... Um, I thought it'd be cool. Anyway, that's that. That's the front lip for on the Q50. Um, it's like 40 bucks on Amazon. Real easy to install. Again, I recommend that you find out if that first bolt on the on the farthest ends of the bumper, if that can be uh, drilled out a little bit more and use your factory bolt into that. I think that would really benefit you because. It's in the right place to use a factory bolt, but it's not the right size, so you will have to drill it out. I don't know if that was the intention of the manufacturer when they did that, but that's the way it works out. Um, I used the factory bolt there, then two or three more of their screw holes, and then the um, where that little triangle was in the middle, in the middle piece, I put drilled a hole and put a screw through there as well. I think that really made a huge difference. Um, it really wouldn't have wouldn't hold up without that so you want to do that um yeah guys that's it for that 
come back soon. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more Q50 stuff and just more car stuff in general. Um, I have something else coming for the Q50 really soon and I won't, you know, give it away. I won't tell you what it is, but maybe, right, you know, you'll see. Come back, check it out next time. That is it for the day. Peace.